You know, praying the Psalms is a great way to develop, to develop your prayer language and to pray God's word back to him. You know, keep on reading and learn how to pray the Psalms. Using Psalms to, to pray will enhance your prayer experience. Praying God's word back to him is a powerful way to pray. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to do a declaration. What you do is you get your family together every single day in your house, in your living room, in your kitchen. doesn't matter. Babies, teenagers, children, your spouse. And you can do this at your church, too. Psalms 91 is going to be the Psalms that's going to save you in the, here in the next uh, decade. Because there's going to be some things happening here in the next decade that you're going to definitely need to be able to trust and to believe in God. Because if you don't trust and believe in God here in the next decade, you're going to make a rock. You're going to make some, it's possible you make some bad decisions that could cost you and your family uh, a lot. But if you have the trust and you have the belief in God, you'll make the right decisions because you'll just say, well, um, I trust God. I'm not going to make this decision on my own. I'm going to trust God because this is what Psalms 91 says. I'm going to believe in God. I'm going to believe in this Psalm here. The Psalms is God's prayer book for us in a great way to pray God's words back to him. So you do the declaration with your family and then you guys sit around and get on your knees and pray individually. You do you guys read the declaration together. First of all, the same um, version of it, you know, there's different versions of the Bible. So all get on the same page and read it together. And then each individual says their prayers and go their separate ways and everybody grows in God and everybody's trust in God grows every day and everybody's belief in God grows every day. And you do this 40 times, at least 40, 50, 60 times Psalms 91 to get it ingrained into your, to your soul, your spirit, your mind. And your trust will grow and your belief in God will grow. I guarantee it. Ready? Mm-hmm. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, Neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me. And I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for dying on the cross for me, Lord. I repent for the remission of all of my sins. Please forgive me, and I thank you for forgiving me for everything I've ever done wrong. And I thank you, Father, for covering me with your feathers and that I'm underneath your wings. 
and I do uh, trust you and I want to trust you more all of the time, 100% for every single situation, because your word, the psalm, is your truth. Your truth is my shield and my buckler, which is my weapon. And I thank you that I don't need to be afraid of anything anymore, Lord Jesus Christ. Not one single thing. Because you are my refuge. I'm, I'm going to make you my refuge, Lord. I'm going to make you my habit, my habitation. You're the most high God, the creator of the universe. And I need you to be my habit. Because I don't want any kind of evil to ever come on me. Ever. Without your permission, of course. I know I'll be tested like Job was. And that's okay with me. I don't need to get sick anymore. I don't need plagues coming near me or my family. Lord Jesus Christ. I just want your angels to have charge over me and my family's life. My house life, Lord. And to keep me in all of my ways. Lord, and I thank you for this, that they will catch me. They'll bear me up with their hands. Angels catch me. If I Even if I dash my foot against a stone, even if I trip, thank you for the safety, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you that I can call on you. And if I wait long enough, and listen, I'll hear um, an answer from you if I ask you some things. And I thank you for being with me in all kinds of trouble, Lord. Even though it seems like you're not there sometime, I know you're there. Thanks for delivering me and honoring me, Father. And satisfying me with food, clothing, and shelter. And a job. And transportation. And given me salvation, eternal life. And Lord, feed all the hungry people today, all around the world. Shelter, get fresh water, clean clothing, Lord Jesus, to everyone who needs it today. Show your face to them. Let them know you love them all, seriously, as individuals. And, you know. Give the people an opportunity to have a personal relationship with you, Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody. And save every soul, Lord God. Save everybody in my county, in my country, in my state. Save everybody in the world, Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you so very much. I honor you, praise you, give you all of the glory forever endeavor and i will see you in eternity lord look forward to working with you and serving you for the next billions and billions of years amen